hello everyone welcome to another video of my channel today we'll be talking about how we can create frequently asked question section using only html and css so let's get started as you can see i have an index html file and style css file in the html file at first we'll be taking a container let's add the css file here so i'm using my favorite font roboto here now let's write some style for the container class we'll be giving it a max width say then a width then we'll be centering it let's add a title class let's name it faq let's add some style for this title class we add some font size and font weight and centered it that's it now let's go for our contents that means a bunch of question and its answer let's give a wrapping wrapper class at, at first we name it faq content and now inside this we'll be taking an html tag named details and inside details our question section will be bounded by another html tag called summary as you can see i have written a question and wrapped it inside the summary section so whenever any content is wrapped inside a summary tag it gets bounded by this say we add another class na named answer copy some data and if we save it now so we can see that because of this details tag everything in the inside the content is wrapped in a details and only the content that is wrapped in the summary section has is associated with an arrow tag and everything except the summary gets displayed when the tag is clicked and if it is reversed it it is out of display so this is the task of the details class and some details sorry details tag and the summary tag now let's beautify it we are writing some basic style for the answer content remove this default arrow marker these two code that is list style type none and webkit details marker display none they are responsible for removing this marker as we can see our detail section has a summary and answer class let's add some particular style for this summary tag what we did is we gave some font weight for this summary section and padding and display flex i'm gonna wrap the question section with another element called span and i am adding another tag here now let's add some style for this span content span element what we added is we are giving this span a particular width inside this b tag we are gonna keep a plus section so we write summary b and we'll be using a selector say after so the our content will be plus whenever we click on the summary that means the details is open we would we would like to show here a minus sign and once the details is closed it will be plus sign details open summary b after so here the content will be minus now let's save and see so if we click on it you see minus and if we click it again we are getting the plus now we want to add some hover property for this summary section only so we just added the cursor pointer and a background color as you can see while hovering it mouse cursor is turning to be pointer and adding a background color now the only thing is left what we want to do is if the summary is clicked the details is open then we want to perceive preserve this background color and say also give a border bottom to the summary section so when our details is open then for the summary class we give the same background color 
and a border bottom there it is now let's add some more question and answer so we are done if you like this video please do sharing and subscribe thanks for watching the video